you know, with eight and size is a non-factor. Um, he probably has one of the best engines in the Ontario Hockey League. Um, his compete is is off the chart. I mean, he he he's go 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 all the time, and he wants the pucks. He wants to make things happen every shift, and and that's generally uh, what he's trying to do. Barrett's one of those guys that he does it. I think he does it pretty much all. Like he he can add the offense. He definitely plays well in his own end. Um, he's he's real good on draws. Do you know what I mean? So he can call his name. He can he can play the power play. He can he can kill penalties. Um, and and he's a great teammate. Um, we're trying to we're trying to figure out sort of the best the best uh, you know fit for for our guys right now. But uh, you know you want to talk about speed. He's got all kinds of speed and all kinds of skill. Um, yeah, I think. I think Adam is probably looking at this year as a as a bit of a breakout year for himself. If you're watching NHL hockey on a Saturday night or whatever night, it's uh, you know speed, skill, work ethic, and I think you know we would all love to have those guys you know scattered all throughout your your lineup, and and that's that's really what I'm looking to try to do. And if you can play with some pace. Um, and you've got some skill and you've got some tenacity, I think it's going to make yourself a pretty darn good player. Um, you know, and the more of those guys you get, I think the better you're going to be. He's, he's really put some time in this summer. I know he put some time in last year. I think we're probably going to see the best Brady Lyle that, that, that the league has seen. I suspect, I suspect he's going to put up some real good numbers this year. You know, he's had the ability to watch some guys go through Owen Sound on the back end that have been able to put up some good numbers and play and play a certain way. So he's sort of been mentored by some good guys, and and I I suspect that he is uh, he's learned from them. Um, he's got a big heavy shot. He loves to use it. Uh, his feet are 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 outstanding, um, and I think he's put on some weight. To, to go with all that. So I do expect him to have a big year and uh, and lead us from the back end for sure. Those five guys, they're big, they're physical, and quite honestly, they, they all have pretty good feet. They're, they're not big, slow, uh, with no mobility. They're, they're all pretty good-footed guys, which is what I like. They've got some size. They've got some tenacity. And... And yeah, I mean, you said it. It's it's probably not going to be, you know, a lot of easy shifts in the Bayshore for sure. He's played in a lot of games, and not just games for him to try to have success. I mean, right from when he was 16, you're you're playing in meaningful games. So he's he's a tremendous student of the game and the league. Um, he works incredibly hard. He's got great size for his size. He's got fantastic feet. Um, yeah, I, I, we're, we're all we're all pulling for Mac to try to pull it all together and uh, and have a and have a breakout year because if he does, there will be there will be an awful lot of uh, uh, scouts at our games watching Mac goes to play this year. I think after what took place last January, I think our fans are are intrigued to see what comes back. I will put it to you that way. Um, we do have an incredible loyal group of fans which i think makes it a very special place to play so it's 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 a little bit of a development 100 percent it is but it's what's needed at this time to move forward and and these kids aren't going to get thrown to the wolves because we've got a uh, a solid nucleus that's going to be able to be around them and insulate them somewhat